Okay, so let's move on to profile. Profile is actually taken from, it's down here in the keynotes, but here's how it, you find the, your profile. You look up here at the line values on your conscious and unconscious sun and earth. And you can see here that Mariah Carey's profile is 3-6, and you can see that these lines here in her sun and earth are 3 on the personality side and 6 on the design side. Now under this, they don't explain this very well, at least in this version of the chart, but this is what's known as your incarnation cross. And you can see it's uh, 17, 18, 58, 52. So it's taken from the conscious, the gates in the conscious and unconscious sun and earth. And they come together to describe what your life direction is. And this is really something for an advanced reading, so I'm not going to really go into it except to tell you that these four themes up here in the conscious sun and earth, these four gates, make up about 70% of your experience in life. Very, very prominent aspect of you that as you begin to familiarize yourself over time with what they mean, you can understand them as the direction that you're here to take in life or your destiny, so to speak. But getting back to your profile, your profile is the role that you take on in your life. It's your learning style, and it's the way that you interact with others. It's your bonding strategy. It's, it's kind of how you move through life, meet with other people, learn your lessons, um, have experiences, and what that means for how you make your contribution in the world. So the profile is taken from the six lines of the I Ching. And I actually should have these reversed because remember how we talked about there are yang lines, which are solid lines, and there are broken lines. And when you saw them on the mandala, you could see the different combinations of solid and broken lines. And there are six of them. The first line is actually on the bottom, and it's up here at the top. So forgive the visual, um, but you'll get the gist here. There are 12 possible combinations. And when you look at your profile, you're looking at the conscious line first and then the unconscious line. So the line one, if you, if you can kind of visualize the lines from the bottom to the top, the line one is known as the investigator. It's like the foundational line for experiencing yourself investigating and experiencing life as it pertains to you, as it pertains to your self and your experience of yourself. Line two, if we're moving up the hexagrams there, or we're moving up to the second line of the hexagram, line two is known as the hermit. The hermit has this natural kind of energy that's a yin kind of energy, that energy that's more introverted and really is here to experience itself in its own introverted kind of a way. Line three is known as the martyr, so it's the third line up. And martyr is such an antiquated term, I, I kind of like to call the line three the experimenter or the experiencer. And maybe that's because I'm consciously a line three in my profile and martyr just seems to be, you know, like I'm going to hang on a cross and I really don't feel compelled to, to martyr myself. But really what happens or how you can understand the term martyr here is that the, the martyr energy or the line three energy is really about wanting to have experiences and experiences of yourself and a variety of experiences of yourself so that basically what you're doing is martyring yourself to your own experiences and experiments. If you don't like martyr, you can use experiencer. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. Then on the fourth line, we're looking at, when we start with the fourth line, we're looking at the three lines at the top that are really more about um, not the experience, the personal experience, 
but the intrapersonal experience of how you relate to other people. So the one, two, and three is how you kind of relate to yourself. It's more concerned about the experiences of yourself or how things relate to you. Four, five, and six are how things relate to you in relationship with other people. So the line four is the foundation. Like line one was the foundation of the lower part of the hexagram. Line four is the foundation of the upper part. Line four is known as the opportunist. The opportunist is the one who's concerned about building the foundation of relationships primarily so that there are opportunities so that they get to experience opportunities through relationship. And you're seeing all this up here, <laughs> whatever this is, but you get it. One, two, three, opportunities through relationship is for that foundation. Five is known as the heretic. The heretic is, is kind of a, a dramatic term, but basically the fifth line projects energy out and people project onto the fifth line because they're really here for other people to have those projections about who they are that may not be accurate so that those people who are projecting, those other people that they're in relationship with that are doing the projecting can work out their unhealed stuff. Having a, a fifth line in your profile is not easy. We could do a whole class on that as well. The heretic aspect of it kind of explains how people relate to you. Like a lot of people will see you as a savior and then when you don't uh, meet up to their expectations, you get burned at the stake. And that's where the heretic comes in. The heretic energy is also about kind of shaking things up, breaking things down, doing things differently. And the heretic can often shine light where people can begin to see where there's a different way of doing things. The line six is known as the role model. And the six is if you're looking at the top line, it's kind of the line, the experience of being up at the top, looking down on everyone else's experiences. And the reason that it's called the role model is because ultimately people with the line six are here to be role models through the wisdom that they gain through the various different aspects of their life, the various different time spans of their life. So from birth to age 30 or so, someone with a line six will be very experimental, like someone with a line three. And then they'll start to settle down at around age 30, and we have a term in human design called going up on the roof. So if you're a six line, you sort of uh, withdraw from all of that experimentation take that place up on the roof where you're not as likely to want to experiment or get involved in a lot of experiences that really aren't worth your time. You're up there possibly even healing from some of those experiences that you had earlier in your life, making sense of them, getting wisdom, gaining the wisdom and growing from those experiences. And then about the time that you turn 50, you emerge from that withdrawn aloof experience from 30 to 50 as the role model who is recognized as the person who has been there, done that, got the t-shirt and the wisdom to go along with it. So if you notice, this is again Mariah Carey's profile here. Mariah Carey is consciously a martyr, a line three, and unconsciously a role model. Okay, so now it's time to identify your profile. So take a moment to write down what your profile is, consciously and unconsciously. See if you can identify it on the chart. 